Welcome to Nicholas 11X12. Today I'm looking at the Cryorg H7 Air CPU cooler. This may not be the best performing one, definitely not a high-end cooler, but it should be offering decent cooling performance at a fairly attractive price point. Just 40 US dollars right now. Thank you Cryorg for sending me this CPU cooler and making this review possible. In the box the H7, basically ready to be installed into your system, since the fan is already pre-attached to the heatsink right out of the box. Of course the backplate screws and standoffs, but unfortunately the backplate isn't out of metal, instead PBT. That's still a very robust backplate and to be honest the cooler is not that heavy anyways. Then also included two fan clips, a tube of thermal paste, Cryorx product registration card as well as the user's manual. Right off the bat I have to compliment Cryorx for their design even on lower end CPU coolers such as on this H7. It doesn't look too extreme if you know what I mean, but it also isn't kept too ordinary. A great balance. The H7 makes a very easy and practical impression to me. What I want to say here is that it's neither too big nor too small. The fan is pre-attached already, so you're good to install this cooler into your system right out of the box and lastly, it's not even heavy. As you may can see, the fins on this side, the intake side, look different here. That are Cryorg so-called high fins that the Apparently should help exhaust hot air faster and should reduce turbulence. The black top cover looks quite nice and fits the fan's frame quite nicely, aesthetically. The cover is out of plastic which is no problem to me and shouldn't be to you either. Now pre-attached to the heatsink is Cryorx QF120 120mm fan with the following specs. About 330 to 1600 rpm, therefore very very quiet, 10 to 25 decibels, airflow 49 CFM. Looks very promising. 4 pin connector and the cable is nicely sleeved by the way. Of course you could also attach another fan to the heatsink, the fan clips are included for that purpose. The dimensions of the whole CPU cooler including the fan are 98 by 123 by 145 millimeters. So really that's not a tall cooler and should fit into almost any modern PC case these days. With the fan attached the heatsink weighs just 711 grams, lightweight. The H7 is equipped with a nickel plated copper base and a total of 3 6mm thick heat pipes. As we'd expect all the relevant CPU sockets are supported excluding LJ2011 and some others though. Supported are LJ1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, AMD's AM3 plus AM3, AM2 plus AM2, FM2 plus FM2 and last but not least FM1. Alright, this time around I'm not installing this cooler into any system, but on my test bench, which Cooler Master kindly provided me to make my life a bit easier, especially when swapping out CPU coolers that often for reviews. Now as for the Cryorg H7, the installation was dead easy and super fast. And as you can see, no interference issues with high profile memory. That's what I really like seeing, so you don't have to worry about that. But now let's overclock my Intel i7-4770K and see how well this H7 manages to cool it down. Ah, not bad, not bad indeed. It's no real surprise to me, I expected this kind of cooling performance, but it's nice to have that confirmation. The Cryorg H7 is a pretty good performer, I'd say, and competes with strong competitors such as the Ninja 4 and Grand Comma Cross 3 by Scythe. Especially with the Grand Comma Cross 3, since that one also doesn't lead to any high profile RAM interference problems. What makes me prefer this H7 over the other ones, though, is the fact that Cryorg took even better care in terms of the design, aesthetics. Not that it really matters, it does nothing for the performance, but when having cases with side panel windows, hey, you want your system to look good after all. There's just one thing that I dislike about the H7 a bit, and that's the fact that not all relevant known sockets are supported. And I'm talking about sockets such as LJ1366 and maybe 775, but most importantly LJ2011. Sure, most people that buy such an expensive CPU that goes into the 2011 socket won't buy this kind of cooler, but let's not forget about the Xeon processors. But oh well, nothing critical, just a thought. The QF120 fan remains fairly quiet and on idle it's almost unhearable. Well, a minimum RPM of just 330 is pretty impressive and helps a lot to reduce noise levels. 
At a price of just around $40, you can't go wrong with this cooler. I'm certainly happy with this performance. The price performance ratio for sure is very good. Without any doubt, I can definitely recommend the Cryorg H7 CPU cooler. I'm giving it my silver ward, not too far off from gold actually. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.